Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about press releases. And I know this has had some, uh, you know, press in it, uh, not to sound like I'm doing a pun there, but it's, it's had a lot of uh, controversy. A lot of people have talked about this, and it's kind of been one of those underdog techniques that um, people will put a lot of hype to and say, hey, I got, you know, thousands and thousands of visitors to my site, and it took me 10 minutes to do and uh, got real popular for a little while and then just like fell off the face of the map for a lot of uh, internet marketers. But the truth is it still works um, and it can work very well, um, but you have to do it in the right way. And what I've included in this uh, traffic series is a template for you on how to write a press release. And uh, you can actually hire somebody to do this if you want, but it's not much more different than writing an article. Uh, the difference is you don't want to sound like you're talking about your own business or your own product, and you don't want to sound like you're trying to sell it at all. Um, what you want to sound like is a news reporter just telling the facts. And uh, if you sound unemotional and just factual, and this is the reason that they uh, claim to have done this, and this is the response or the feedback they've received in this process kind of thing um, it'll work out well for you and there's actually uh, paid versions and free versions for doing press releases and again we're talking about free traffic techniques so I'm just going to stick with the free ones and I, what you're gonna find is there's really not much difference from the, the free and the paid. so let's go ahead and jump over to uh, some of the different services that are available now this first one is a free press release and let me show you the domain here it's there's a dash in between each word it's free dash press dash release dot com and uh, what you're gonna find is if you look here uh, it shows the views next to each one of the uh, you know the different press releases and you can see it's it's got hundreds uh, of views for each one of these press releases and some of them are you know a few thousand so it's really going to depend on you know the popularity of your press release um, so anyway that's that's one of the services um, there's actually four that I'm going to recommend the uh, the next one is 1888pressrelease.com and uh, that's the actual numbers like that it's not spelled out or anything um, they're another one that uh, that Google News really loves and uh, the next one is prlog.org now this and uh, the last one I'm going to mention um, are two very popular ones that Google and Yahoo uh, really love and what happens is by submitting your press release uh, to these few uh, different press release services you're going to do two things. You're going to get a lot of organic traffic from people finding your, your thing and clicking on it and going through to find out what all the news is about. And uh, the other is, is you're going to get uh, a higher ranking on your actual site because of the, the press release pointing to it. And um, this is the, uh, the last one. And uh, it's newswiretoday.com. Now, in all honesty, all four of these do work. They work very well. Um, there's not a huge difference as far as your results, but um, but you can you can spend all day long looking for different um, press release services and trying to submit to all of them. I don't suggest you do that. I suggest you just do um, you know two or three or four like the ones you see right here. And uh, what'll happen is you'll like I said get a lot of organic traffic from the people actually clicking through the press release as well as with Google uh, helping you rank higher because of it. Now another quick tip, and this is with most of these techniques that I'm teaching you in this video series, is once this is live, whether it's a Squidoo Lens or a blog post or whatever it is that you're doing for traffic, you want to go to Twitter and you want to tweet about that page. You know, there's a new press release here, put the link, pretty cool check it out is all you have to do for a, a tweet about it in order to um, have the search engines be aware of it faster and to get traffic to it faster 
<clears throat> and you can also do this with a blog post and then by pinging your blog post. So that's how to do press releases the right way. It doesn't take any time. It doesn't cost anything. It's very simple. Again, it's five, ten minutes. You know, write it up, submit it, and you're good to go.